Welcome back, everyone, to this edition of Try Hard Trucking with me, Roll Cage TV, where I do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, but a whole lot of continuation. We're continuing on from where we left off in the last episode, which is doing, getting ready to do, going to be doing the Flaming Barrels task, uh, which I will do as soon as I get my, uh, my gaming gloves complete. Uh, in place. All right. Going to be doing the flaming barrels task. In case you don't know what this task is like, you pick up flaming barrels with a crane and then you take them like around here and drop them off over here. And uh, I'm going to try to do It's not a task, a contest. I'm going to try to do it pretty quickly. Pick them up there, drop them off there. So fast way to go around is like this. I can get gold on this pretty easily. I'm going to try to do a cheese. I'm going to do it with this vehicle, which is my faster vehicle, but it's not as strong. Uh, not as strong through the mud, especially. And this way here is kind of muddy, so. But I think I can do it with this. If not, I'll have to pull out uh, the Mastodon, which in general is slower, but through the mud is faster. But I should be able to do it. Now, let's detach this trailer. The end of the last episode by um, um well, did I detach the trailer? I did. As you can see, it's not as good in the mud. I don't have the brake on, right? Yeah. See, I went on my brake and uh, got myself stuck. Sunk in the mud. It's okay in the mud. I've got mud tires on it. Uh, let's uh, not do that. But this is very, this is mud. This is serious mud. Not as muddy as some of the later maps. Or So I'm not sure if I'll be able to beat the time in this vehicle, but I know I can get gold in at least all the tasks in Michigan and Alaska. After that, I'm not sure. I'll try to get gold, but if I can't, if it, if the first time I try a task, it looks like there's no way I'm going to get it, um, then I'll just leave it there. But I'm going to, or all the contests. I'll do all the contests at least once, because that's part of 100%ing everything. But. Uh, if I don't, um, yeah, if I don't get gold on all of them, I'm not going to worry about it. But I'll try. I'm not going to spend too much time, though. I'm not going to sit here and practice, practice, and figure out the most optimal way and whatever. But I will, um, gotta avoid that. Whoa, gotta avoid it, he said, and then I almost ran right into it. I'm going to go get this fuel carrier on the way. Bring it to the main road. Right, which I was supposed to do last time. And uh, when I first discovered it. And apparently did not. Apparently I forgot. I spent a lot of time in the mud. Quick winch it. I can. Nice. We got it up here nice and close. And uh, get to the road. To the road so we can go drive by. Fuel from it. Okay, good. Nice rainy, muddy day to be doing this contest, huh? Let's 
this one going? No, I'm going. Oh, this is what I'm going for. I do not know when the Discord is going to be up. I mentioned this uh, last episode that I do have a Discord going. Thanks, everyone, to spend been uh, supporting both the YouTube and Twitch channels. I've got met my YouTube subscriber goal to uh, start a Discord, but uh, I don't have uh, don't have the administrator who said he was going to help set it up for me. He, he uh, unfortunately is no longer available, so I'm doing it myself. I only got so much time. And only got so much uh, attention span. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there will be a Discord. Obviously, I'll publish it everywhere. Uh, a link, invite link to it once it's all set up. It's a little tricky because uh, I'm going to have uh, different. Uh, a lot of different uh, roles, and some of the roles will be restricted. You have to be a. YouTube subscriber or Twitch follower, but uh, it'll get done. Also, if you're watching on Twitch and you you find all the music monotonous because there's only four tracks, I do have someone who who uh, volunteered to help me find pick out the music. By the way, Xman Music and Twitch chat, or uh, look in the YouTube description, and uh, it will give credit to the person that. Did the background music, Frinkles, FrinklesMusic.com. Uh, you have to pay for the music, but once you pay for it, you can have a license to re, re, use it, as long as you aren't just broadcasting it and nothing else. But if you're using it with added, uh, added content, then, um, you know, so as background music or whatever, then you're fine to use it. Open license. Not license free, but open license. Obviously copyrighted. People think people think music is not copyrighted. They say, oh, it's not copyrighted music. Even if it's, if it's open license, it might still be copyrighted. Now, I am going to um, see if this works. Stop the engine. Uh, show the task. And I'm going to accept it. I want to see exactly where it lands. Okay. Now, I think this works. Um, store crane? Oh, right. Crane mode. It's this way. Oh, boy. See, this is why I want to get it on my truck first. Now, I didn't put out the anchors in advance. I should have done, because it is a little muddy here. Okay. And uh, I can raise this up. I can pull the winch, which is the wrong button. I can pull this winch. Pull it in. Front. Lower. Uh, should be good enough. Okay, now I think I can start the task. With this pack, it'll spawn a new one, and it won't delete the one that's on my truck, as long as it's packed. I might be remembering that wrong, though. <laughs> so, if this fails, I'll restart it again. Um, and then actually load it up. But, uh, yes, I have to get to there. So let's show the task again. Cont oh, did I stop the contest? No, it's still running. Let's uh, stop the contest. Uh, uh, restart. Okay. Wait, nope. Not restart. Oh, well, I know it works. <laughs> I'm going to have to restart it again. Restart it. Okay. Okay. 
Go back here. <laughs> Wanna highlight it, so I know where I'm going. Okay. And I have like 10 minutes to get there. So, I mean, I could just start now and get there in 10 minutes, even without doing the path, probably. 10 minutes is a long time. I want to show off the optimal way of doing this. So yes, you notice it did leave the other ones on my truck when I restarted the task. So that is a way of cheesing it is to just, it, it doesn't work in hard mode obviously because you only have so many attempts. But in easy mode, you can go ahead and restart as many times as you want. And there, that's where I want to go. All right. Now, I think it deletes the ones that are on the ground, but if you have it packed, it doesn't delete it, so. And you, it doesn't matter. You don't have to deliver the ones they put on the ground. It, since these are the ones I picked up off the ground, they still have the proper data tag to them. Like I said, I can go there right now and still do it in 10 minutes, but. Uh, engine is running, right? Yes. Okay. Ready to do that. Let's do for a little bit. And restart. All right. And now in this vehicle, I have to pretty much stay the road. Even though the road's muddy, and I might need a winch in places anyway, but uh, we'll give it a shot. And of course, it's a rainy day, which makes scene harder and all of this stuff harder. Oh, what did I get stuck on? I think I got stuck on a tree, which I'm going to need to destroy now. Did I destroy it? No, I still didn't destroy it. Ah! My 10 minutes is running out. That really slowed down my momentum. I can't get out of first gear now. Okay. Third gear. Okay, now I'm cooking. Fourth gear. Oh, I went back to second. Long time to do a force change. Okay. In Michigan, the contests are all very easy to finish. Alaska, they're not hard are all easy to go other maps it varies um, some of them are very challenging to do in gold to gold and some of them are ridiculously easy in general though the contests are certainly there are um, outside of a career save game file there are you can earn um, dashboard widgets and things by uh, doing these what are they called? Challenges. And the challenges in Mudrunner were basically like a tutorial. They were very easy. Well, a couple of them were a little challenging, but once you knew once you got used to the game, it was it was pretty easy climbing up rocks and stuff that are were easy to fall over unless you until you had some experience but in snow runner i've tried two of the challenges and they're both ridiculously hard the very first one is you have to find your way down from this hill and it's not clear what the path is and i have not found i probably there's a video somewhere but i looked on the wiki and the fandom wiki is pretty bad oh no no I was not paying attention, and this truck does.
The Zix isn't here either. Oh, this is so disappointing. So I have to actually either recover the truck or... Oh, man. Start over again. Basically, just have to start over again. Ah! The Zix is at the... is... I could have used the Rizvani, probably. No, I recovered it now. The Zix is here at the same... It would not have... I, I did not have a recovery vehicle close enough, but I wasn't thinking. I have my scout vehicle, which would have been strong enough to recover it. So not only do I have to start the task over again, but I have to get over to the task from pretty far away. Which means... Um, I'm, I'm not going to get this done during this stream. It's not, gonna, not only not going to be done during this episode, it's not going to be done during the stream. Yeah, I know the objective failed. Oh, I was not paying attention, and I'm not driving the, the non-tippable vehicle. Uh, I really don't need to stop at the trailer store there. I don't think. I don't know. Oh boy, sorry folks. Wasn't paying attention. If you watched the last uh, YouTube episode, you can just uh, skip ahead to the next episode and pick up where we left off. <laughs> The last YouTube episode was nothing but me driving to the location, and now I'm going to have to be doing it again. Actually, last... Yeah, the last episode only. Ugh. Well, how's everyone's day doing? <laughs> this has been... It has been several streams since I had major fails. So every stream is six YouTube episodes. So it's been many, many YouTube episodes, like 30 YouTube episodes since I had all these different, since I had many different fails, since I had a fail until this stream started. So the last four YouTube episodes, five YouTube episodes, I've just had massive fails during this stream. I've gotten, I've gotten through them all. What a mess. This is how SnowRunner is normally played. <laughs> I'm driving the OP vehicles to avoid this kind of thing, but... The Zix is uh, not as fast as this baby, so I was going to use this baby. Maybe I'll be able to get there and do the contest. No, I'll never get there and do the contest this episode. It'll be the start of the next episode. Maybe. I don't know. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. I can't go longer than 45 minutes per episode and still be able to get my cat fed on time. So... <laughs> Earlier in the stream, I spent too, but took too much time on longer episodes. So. Even without the high-speed gearbox, this, this truck motors pretty well. Well, it wasn't going to be a record time anyway, because I got hung up on that tree, but I'm not going for a record. I just want a personal best. Yeah, I don't need it. Four, four gallons, forget it. Not important. Oh, but now I didn't trigger that waypoint. Well, I know the way. 
You guys know the way too, probably, right? Yeah, let's fall off of this now. Is this it? Oh, this is not, is it? Yeah, I know the way, he says. Oh, such happy music for such sad times. <laughs> Not a sad time. I've had sadder, believe me. Okay. And I didn't even stop my engine to do all that. That's how confident I am. I'm not going to run out of fuel. Uh, yeah, I forgot to put my all-wheel drive on. Which is actually more important in this vehicle on the asphalt. <laughs> because it's got mud tires on. And it sways all crazy. Did I try to quick winch? I don't know. I might not have even tried a quick winch, but I'm pretty sure there was nothing there to winch on. I tip over so seldomly because I don't drive this vehicle. I drive vehicles that are almost tip. Two of the vehicles are pretty much tip proof. The Resvani Hercules and the Zix Mastodon. And the other vehicle I have, the Jeep's Rang the Jeep Wrangler, is very, very tip resistant. It's a very wide base. So of the vehicles I have, this is the most tipsy, and it's not bad. For uh, it's better than like the Fleet Star is horrible, and I it's at least as good as the White Western Star and the original GM uh, that you get with in the first map. I'm gonna try to drive straight and take a drink. Without getting in too much trouble. And it worked. This is, uh... Coming to the end of a six-hour stream. So, uh, I gotta remember to hydrate well. Next uh, week, as I'm streaming this, it's the last uh, Sunday in uh, uh, April. I gotta remember what month it is. Which means... My mid-spring marathon stream is coming up on the first Saturday in May. I do that four times a year. In mid-spring, I have mid-summer, fall, winter as well. And uh, so I can't afford to get my, uh, my voice out of shape when I've got a 12-hour stream coming up in six days and two other streams between now and then. <laughs> Three four days a week, as I do. Do a little swaying back and forth to keep me moving forward as well as I can. Serpentine, serpentine. I always get stuck right there. I get through the mess, most of the muck, and then get to that road, that one little mud patch I don't avoid. Ah, missed it! Thought I was gonna hit the. You guys all thought I was gonna hit that. 
Dat, uh, dat was wel bowling, ja. <laughs> I got a chance of getting this in the stream, huh? Maybe? I mean, I'll get it in the stream. I mean, getting it in this, uh, this section of the stream, getting it in this YouTube episode. After three years, I'm getting better at not clinking my ice. Just a little bit better. My mid-spring marathon is uh, right around my um, uh, third anniversary. May 14th is when I first started streaming. Um, yeah. So, stop engine Will I lay out the proper path here to get to the start of the thing I can't actually go forward that way no that's a dead end into the muck Just laying a few waypoints, more or less following the path. And get to there, and that's here, and here. Just make sure I don't take the wrong turn. There we go. That's the path. I've got a fuel trailer on the way to make sure I have enough fuel. Which I dragged out earlier. Earlier in the stream. Once this is done, this contest, then it's uh, doing contracts and of all the first three Michigan maps. I'm trying to do the... Uh, no, 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 no. 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 <laughs> Gotta remember, I'm not in my untypical vehicle. Uh... I'm doing, I'm, as much as possible, I do, I'm, obviously I'm doing the regions in order, but as much as possible I'm doing the maps one at a time. And, uh, so I haven't been to Island, Drummond Island yet. I scouted out the first three maps here. And so I haven't done any contracts that involve Island Lake yet. I'll be doing, uh, I did all the contracts that involve only Smithville Dam and uh, Black River. Black River? What are the first map name is? that fuel carrier. I gotta keep my eye out. Okay, it's after this. I, I brought it right to the, to the road. I should see it. I didn't mark it though. With my luck, I will pass it up.
And this map did reset when I went back. I don't think I have, I don't have any other vehicles. If you have a vehicle in one spot of the map, it does um, not reset during the surround in the immediate vicinity of that vehicle, which you can use both for and against yourself. I mean, if you um, if you have a particular really muddy spot that's going to get torn up. You don't want to park a vehicle there, because even when you leave the map, it will never reset that part. Um, but also, you can use it to your advantage if you want to, like... Uh, get rid of a tree or something. You know, you're clearing obstructions, trees that are blocking the path, whatever. You can do that and then park a vehicle there, and so it won't reset... I am uh, also, I show this off every so often, I'm not going to show it this time, but I'll mention, if you go into the options menu, the very first menu item is, uh, actually I will show it, uh, settings, the very first setting game, notice steering mode is set to steering wheel, uh, I actually am using a controller, but if you set it to steering wheel, you can use it with a controller. What it does is it auto-centers it when you let go of the stick, which can be a little bit easier to control if you're used to other video games, other driving games that auto-center the vehicle. By default, it doesn't center the vehicle, which you can see why that would be useful because, you know, if you're trying to get around a particular corner and you need the angle to be just right, you can set the angle and then just drive quote-unquote forward without worrying about controlling the joystick, but um, I find this mode a little bit easier to control. And again, I'm getting myself, I'm rushing. I shouldn't be rushing. And there should already be oil barrels there. Unless canceling it remove them. Cancel it might have removed or when I, when I, quote unquote, when I failed by going to the garage. I have to start and stop again. Good thing I'm not playing on hard mode. I would be just about out of attempts by now. The game first came out, but it was only three attempts. Now I think you get five attempts in hard mode. I could have that wrong. I only watch people play hard mode. I don't play hard mode. Hard mode is... It's difficult. Why would I be playing that? I stink. Take another drink so I don't want to drive too far without being able to steer. See, that's another thing. I can take a drink and I know that my vehicle's tire is going to be pointed straight. Okay, let's see. Are the oil bales there? They look like they are. I can load these up in advance, pack them, and then when I restart, they might go away. Uh, okay, stop. Activate the anchors first, because sometimes opening the crane will tip your vehicle. And this is the American crane, so uh, it's strong enough. With the Russian crane, you're better off moving the crane into the position where you want it and then just uh, um, and then using the winch because the winch is stronger than the crane. Okay, let's try this again, baby. I got. I have to do it in 10 minutes, and that's about what time I have left in this segment, so, uh... You heard the clunk of the barrels being spawned behind me. I got 10 minutes! Maybe 10 and a half minutes. I got plenty of time. 
I'm gonna have to, uh, don't have to rush too much. I do have to get around this, uh, tree, though. Messed that up last time. I can always winch if I need to winch. I start to lag. I should probably just go into quiet focus mode here, so, which I'm not good at being quiet. Even as a kid, I never won that nickel for sitting quiet for five minutes. Should have started the day out again, like from the beginning of the, this contest. But it's rainy. I don't think re, I don't think re going skipping time changes the weather. If it did, we could always just drop the rain. I mean, you can you can skip the night. Why can't you skip the rain? That would be consistent, right? By the way, if you go into New Game Plus, this is something uh, Highway Buster taught me. If you go into New Game Plus and you always want to play in the daytime, don't select the option. There's an option to say always day. Don't select that option because day to them is like, it still gets dark. It gets pretty dark. It goes from, I don't know what it goes from, but you, you get a very dark twilight. You're better off just skipping ahead. It skips the night, but just the night. So you play through like all the evening and the afternoon, evening, early morning. So, yeah. You're better off just allowing yourself to skip time. This is where I lost it last time, because I was not paying attention. And I drove off the side of that bridge. Well, let's uh, pay attention this time. We still have like eight minutes to get there, seven minutes to get there, so. Well over halfway there now, I think. So. Or at least halfway. I can even stop for fuel if I need it, but I... Yeah. I like these contests because for the most part they're easy. <laughs> At least in Michigan. I know I, there's some coming up in other maps that I won't like so much. But. And I've said 100% I'm going to try to get gold on every contest, but... I will do them more than once. If I if I think I have a path to gold and I just fail by a little bit, I'll try it again. But um, I will I will uh, make sure that I at least clear up all of them, so I succeed at them at least once. Get at least one um, medal. You want to clear it from the map from the task list. Won't clear from that from the task. Here. And uh, just about there, right? No, not just about there. I got confused where I was. That was just the uh, sawmill. That wasn't the tourist. Seeing it. Oh, that's pretty fast. That, that would be record time under five minutes. Yes, yeah, the little cheese where you you start the start the contest once to get the barrels on the ground and then to load the barrels and then restart it is pretty cool. 
There are a lot of little cheesies for these contests. I don't, I don't know them all, but Michigan, I know pretty well. I know Alaska fairly well, but after that, in my uh, original playthrough, I haven't even. I ducked into Russia briefly, drove around, but I know almost nothing about Russia other than what I've watched on other people's videos. So pretty much. I won't say blind, watching other people make those, but inexperienced. Beginner playthrough, I guess you could say. Although I hate... But one of my pet peeves, I've mentioned many times, is... With the lowest difficulty level, they always say it's beginner. It's like, no, I'm not a beginner. I'm just terrible. Don't don't say I'm a beginner. I'm an old retired person who's been playing some games for 10 years and still am terrible at it. So don't tell me I'm a beginner. Like chess. I've been playing chess since I was a kid. And yet still I'm considered a beginner because I stink. I'm not a beginner. I'm just not going to get any better ever. <laughs> This is about right, seven minutes. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Bow, 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 bow. 654! Thanks, man, you got us out of a real jam there. We're good until the next shipment comes. All right, I'm happy for you, brother. Uh, let's stop the engine. And, uh... See, I had plenty of time in the... I want to go highlight that again. Oh, I can't highlight it from there. I have to highlight it from here, because the whole point was to get it off the map. Uh, where is it? Flaming Barrels. It's the, See, it's still on the map. Oh, but I can't... I wanted to check what the time limit was, but I can't do that unless I actually go to it. Which I'm not going to do, but yeah, it was 10 minutes and so I wanted to see if it was 10 minutes or 10 and a half minutes or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm going to actually take a break here. It's a little earlier than 45 minutes, but, uh, this is a logical stopping point. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to, first of all, back up the vehicle so I can get a good camera angle of, uh, of the vehicle. Now I'm going to get stuck in the mud. Okay, right there. Okay, now this is the way to stop. This is the way to end an episode. <laughs> stop the engine. All right, folks, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm going to take a couple minute break and be back for the last segment of the stream. If you're watching on YouTube, that's going to be it for this episode. The next episode will be out the next weekday at noon, U.S. Central Time. So uh, thanks again for watching. Twitch, stick around. YouTube next episode. So either way, I will see you then.